Hey guys, Kat Cardi here. I should be posting art on this channel, but in the absence of any art related videos, uh, I've been obsessed with gardening lately, so I thought I'd share some recent discoveries about a purchase I made recently. This is the Elho um, recycled plastic downpipe planter, uh, which I picked up a load of recently without reading reviews like an idiot. Um, and have made a few discoveries along the way which I thought I would share um, with those of you who are also having problems with this product. Um, number one, I've seen people making notes about having to drill holes in the bottom of this uh, for drainage, but I just wanted to point out that it has its own built-in saucer. So this bit actually comes off. Uh, there we are. And you can see through basically when the water level gets up to here, these holes, um, it floods into this saucer and then any overspill trickles out over the edge. Uh, so you do not need to put holes in the bottom of this planter. If you're worried about the water building up and rotting the roots of your plant, you can do what I do and just put some um, bark chipping or something in the bottom of the pot there just to reduce the amount of um, soil which is actually touching the water. So here we have one of my planters um, already planted up. I've got some little baby bok choy in here. Um, a second complaint I've seen about this planter is that when it's full, the weight of the soil and the plant and everything um, pulls the planter down the drain pipe like this. Um, so basically when you get your planter, it should have come with this little plastic watsit on the inside. And the idea is that you just wedge that down here against the drain pipe and that keeps the plants on nice and secure. The third final and most major problem as far as I'm concerned that I've seen people having with this product is that um, once it's full and even when it's empty actually this strap which holds it in place slips down and I'm just going to force it so that you can see what I mean here. Um, it, it does eventually slip out, even if there's nothing in the pot, um, which can then cause the strap to come loose and the pot to come away. It can not only snap the uh, strap there that's holding the pot in place, but it can also then damage your plant that you've got in there um, and fall on the floor and make a mess. So we're back inside now so I can show you my quick fix for this problem. Um, as you can probably see, I've drilled a small hole on the lip of the planter here. Um, and if I just pop the iPad down a second, I can show you that if you just take a common or garden cable tie um, and just thread it through this hole, come sa. Once you attach the planter back to your drain pipe, imagine that's nice and secure in there. You won't be doing it upside down, obviously. You can then grab the cable tie and just twist it around so that that's nice and secure in there and uh, it's not going to slip. If we go back outside, I can show you my pot choy has been sat here quite happily with this cable tie here, holding it in place for a good couple of weeks now. And uh, it's not going anywhere. So there you go, it's uh, an easy fix. And hopefully it will help you if you've been having this problem too. So there you have it, easy peasy. Uh, that's my quick and dirty little fix for you. Uh, if any of that was helpful to you, then uh, be sure to let me know in the comments. Okay, enjoy, happy gardening, bye.